What's up guys, uh, we are back again with another tutorial, this time we're going to be going over CurseForge, how you can upload um, your created mod pack up into the CurseForge so other people can download and it can be publicly available. Now if you haven't seen my last video on how to actually create the mod pack, I'll leave the link coming up now on the screen, so just go ahead, use that, create your mod pack if you haven't already, and then you can come back to this video and we'll show you exactly how to upload it. So before I get into things, as you can see on the screen here, we've got Seeker Host and Minecraft servers. If you haven't got a server with us already, um, head on over there. We've got a 25% off deal. So that's we're using the code 25 off. That's 25. Uh, capital O, capital F, capital F, 25 off, give you a 25% discount. And that's going to be on any of your first servers, whether it be a small or a large server. So perhaps use it to your benefit, grab yourself a larger server than you would normally, um, and then paying the amount that you would offer a smaller one. I'm not going to be using an affiliate code, simply go down the description um, and you'll see the Seekerhost website, click on the link and you'll go straight through to it. So by this point, I'm going to assume that you already have your mod pack created. If you haven't, like I said before, um, use the link, um, go ahead and create it. I've got another video, it doesn't take very long. I'll also show you how to upload it onto your server as well, just in case you're running a Forge server. So I'm gonna assume that you already have that here. We haven't got a very large mod pack, it's two mods. One thing to bear in mind here is that Forge does also have a policy where it won't use all mods, so third party mods won't actually be uploaded. For instance, if you have a mod pack with uh, 50 mods, you might find that in fact up to 10 of them might be third party mods um, and might not be publicly available. To check this, you can come over to a mod pack. Um, if you go to export, which we will be doing in a second, of course, to uh, export it, click on the little arrow next to the mods and you're gonna see this triangle here. As you can see, this profile mod versions are not available on Curse Forge. You can still share this with your friends, but it may not be approved for public distribution. So that's something to bear in mind because not a lot of people actually mention this with these videos. Now I am currently coming up with another video to fix this. I'm just talking to the people at CurseForge at the moment um, just to get an exact fix for this and then I can just make another video just to show you guys how you can get them on. There is another way however we won't be going through that today so just make sure that your mods are compatible. Best way to do that is by actually downloading them from CurseForge. So obviously when I made my pack here I just went and used the add more content which means I know that it's going to be on the CurseForge site. Um, so these two should be allowed. So first of all let's do the first step which is actually a exporting your mod pack um, as I just did before we're going to come to the three dots right here and we're going to go to export profile um, now from here you can name it or rename it um, I'll just keep it as test I'll do test one and we're going to do the package version package version I of course just uh, suggest doing 1.0 or 1 because it's going to be your first version you're probably going to be releasing more after this um, and then you'll start doing 1.1 or 1.2 down here you can include the config if you do want to if you don't want to simply all you do actually need in here is the mods and like I said before just to check this use the little arrow here and if they haven't got any exclamation marks surrounded by a triangle then you're all good to go so as you can see here we have the mod selected and that's all that we want to upload now we're just going to go to export you're going to choose a place for it to be exported it's going to be a zip file once you've done that you're going to come to the actual curse forge website so that's curseforge.com and um, we're going to be selecting minecraft and of course make sure that you actually have got yourself an account first it is free to make an account on here just make your account and sign in now with Minecraft, as you can see under Minecraft, you can see start project. So let's just go ahead and fill this in, um, selecting game, of course that is Minecraft. We can select a, a category here. Ours is gonna be mod packs because we're uploading a mod. a mod pack, not a single mod or a plugin. We can call it something here. So I'm gonna do test one mod pack. You can add a little summary and then also a description. Now just bear in mind that this actually does have to be longer than a few sentences. So mine will be rejected just because of the fact that I've put test description and there's nothing actually there. It does check for sort of some value to the mod pack as well. You can keep this as is. You can then choose your primary category. So let's say yours is adventure and RPG. You're going to select that. You can then choose other categories. So is it a magic? Is it map based? I'm just going to put this as magic. Choose your primary language. Choose a logo as well. This has got to be a 400 by 400 pixel logo. The best way I find to do this is just uh, get a picture or screenshot it, um, paste it onto a paint um, new document, just spread it out um, or don't try not to spread out too much, you'll lose quality. And then right hand click, resize, go to pixels, change the uh, maintain aspect radio, ratio, sorry, and then change this to 400, um, change this to 400, press OK, 
and you've got yourself um, the perfect size logo. Of course, you might have to do a bit of reshaping. Obviously, do that in the correct order, which is stretch your image first, click off of the image, and then change the size. Otherwise, you'll be either changing the image size or the canvas size. Just put the image down first, set it, and then change it. This is why I took the whole screen up with the image. Either way, save that down, and you can then upload it for a logo. I don't want to save that. In fact, what I am going to do is I'm just going to, I just copied some of the Seeker Host uh, description on there, just so I have something written down, <laughs> just so you can see me starting the project on here. Um, right, so as I said, I probably actually should have saved that because I now need a logo. So now I've just remade the logo. Sorry if it looks like I've just had uh, some sort of cold happen to me all of a sudden. I sneezed. It happens. I wonder why sneezing makes you feel like you have an instant cold. Either way, so we've got the logo on here. We're just going to upload that. It's a 400 by 400 pixel image. So we're all ready to go and we can start the project. Now, as you can see there, the new project will have to be under review. In fact, every time you load a new version or you change something, it will get reviewed, then accepted or rejected. To check this, you come up to your little bell sign over here. It will show you whether anything has been rejected, if it's been approved, if there's any problems, what they are. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to file, click the file, and you're going to get brought here this is going to be where you can upload your exported profile from curse forge we're going to do this by choosing file um, we're going to find the test one there obviously yours will be named whatever your uh, mod pack was i'm just going to call it test mod pack and then you can keep this as the alpha obviously if it's the first release keep it as the alpha um, if it's another release just use a release or beta or so on you can add a change log here so i'm just going to add first release and then you're going to come down and uh, find the relevant version obviously mine was 1.12.2 so we're going to select that and then if you have any other related projects you can add them in here type them in and then uh, click add project now we're just going to go ahead and submit file and that's pretty much done in terms of uploading your mod pack as you can see there it is now processing you can now go ahead and add more things to this so you can go to the image over here you can then start adding images to it this will go into your images section you can then also go to manage project and you can go ahead and change any of the previous information description issues um, and stuff like that and again once you have done that just wait for the little bell to pop up and um, it will then tell you whether it's accepted or not accepted shortly after um, usually about a day or so if you actually type in your mod pack name it will also appear on the curse forge launcher so thanks for watching guys i hope you found that helpful and again if you do want to go um, over to seeker host it's seekerhost.co and you can grab yourself 25 percent um, off your first server and then start playing your mod pack with your friends thanks again for watching don't forget to hit that like button and of course subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you next time bye bye